What up, dudes? Let's load in. We got another Tuesday. Guild Wars 2 Tuesday. Immediately getting attacked as soon as we get in here. Let me remember what I was doing. Oh yeah, we followed them down here, and now we're gonna run up this pipe. Zoom, zoom. Up the pipe we go. So last time, ooh, that was about, that was almost scary. Last time we were running around this foothills place. Get a nice view of the big old like water tank or oil tank or drill or whatever this be. It's pretty nasty down there at the bottom. All right, what are we missing in this area? Doesn't look like much. The game wants me to go back up there. So let's do that. So I've been switching back and forth between Black Desert and now Guild Wars 2. And I gotta say, it's a nice change of pace. Stabby, stabby. That was cool. I'm gonna walk right by this guy. Hey, look. Some dead guys. Let's revive them. I don't know what for, but we're gonna do it. That is not the skill that I pressed. Oh, it just started downpouring outside. That's fun. Lots of rain. Okay, let's go find where I need to be at. Which is out there, not in here. Question, can I get, if I, no, we need to go back around and go outside. Leave me alone, dude. Stab that guy. I'm trying to get used to playing a warrior or a melee class. So I gotta go on the other side of this giant freaking mountain. Well, we're going to zoom then. So just having like a big world that I haven't fully explored or anything in it just makes the game kind of. I don't know, exciting? Or what you would call it. Just refreshing, I think. I'm starting to wonder if I didn't go the wrong way. We're going to revive this little dude here, and then we're going up here. What's up here? What do you seek? Okay, 
Cool. Get up there, fight this guy. So I'm just running around and like enjoying the game. I don't have much commentary right now. Um, I, I don't under. Oh, look, I got some little mining tools and fun. I get a mount. At so I need to get 10, basically. Allows me to weapon swap and do mount and do the personal story. What is the game? It just recommends me just kind of run around here. Okay. Cool. Let's go talk to the shaman man. So how are you all enjoying my No leopard is on that you fought for her. Okay. Where do I hunt? What? Well that didn't work. Snow Leopard always acts swiftly and with purpose. We'll play with the Cubs. That gives me uh, a little bit of completion time here. And it's easier than trying to hunt down those rabbits. Like a lot easier. Okay, so I got one, two, three, and four. I tried. So are we actually not like supposed to get things? Guess not. Investigate. Snarl at the bush. We got the rabbit. Holy off the cliff we go. That was an accident. Nailed it. Okay. What do we get out of you? Nothing much. So what does the game want me to do now? I don't think the game really wants me to do much of anything now. Um. I can try to make my way up here. We need to go this way. I could teleport, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to run. So, what, uh, for any avid, um, Guild Wars 2 players, what, what do you guys do, like, on a daily basis? Do you, like, are there dailies that you run, or are there just events that you go to, or... I'm going over there and go up that mountain. <laughs> Do 
yeah, if there's something that I should be doing or visiting, uh, let me know down below. Also, if you're not sub, sub. Um, I kind of visit this every Tuesday or, you know, Monday, Wednesday, whenever I get time to get it out. But I try to aim for, for Tuesday. I don't like spiders. Let's chop them up. Tracks. The game seems kind of quiet, like there's no music. It's very weird to me. Oh yeah, the Wizard's Vault. I, um, remember I was told about this on the comments of the last video. So I guess these are just your dailies. Are there any other dailies or are you guys just running around doing like meta events or something? So these are the astral rewards that you can spend points on or coins or whatever you call them. Those are old rewards from things past and these are your dailies weeklies and random special okay so i guess that's like in-game stuff um that's what you end up doing after you run out of things to do Explored areas. Well, we're going to the summit. Taking all this fur, too. I don't know what I need it for. up here what are we looking at Ooh, big old leopard and bird statue and a wolf and a bear I probably would have never looked up and seen those if um if it wasn't for the Vista. Picking up weird piles of fur. And that's all I'm going to give. So I noticed those are like things that you, um, I need to get rid of some of these shields. I will soon know the truth. The more fur, the stronger the truth. Like, bring me all the fur you have found. Try 
much here. Let's open up some of these things. I already got the, the dome plate, but we'll just open all this stuff up anyway. And see if I can... Same, same. Good. Forget I can't double click stuff. Okay, do I have any... Way of breaking this stuff down. I don't think so. Follow me. The jackalope is near. Yarny state. Okay, what does is not for you? I guess since I've done everything down here, I mean I guess I could probably have went. missed some stuff somewhere because it's only about 30% done. Um, okay. So it's all this up here too. Alright, that's fine. Um, can I go down this little bridge over here? It's bridging time. So what's it? That guy's way below. I don't care. I'm not going back to talk to him. throw my sword at you so this thing's always telling me that I've got funds in there this thing's constantly popping up get off of there okay so what's it like seeing uh, somebody play a 2012 game in 2024 and genuinely have fun I'm trying to not be um, too stupid about things. Like, yeah, I still look at the map. I don't know my way around, but I, I kind of still want to uh, hit the wrong button there. Um, I want to keep things flowing. I don't want to make this boring by any means. Um, but I still want to learn. I'm not new to MMOs by any means. Not, uh. At least not MMORPGs, right? Just trying to get some experience here. So if I go over here, that'll unlock a little bit of a... A thing. So I've not had to use any uh why is this thing not like auto attacking i haven't had to use any healing yet really so we haven't gotten ourselves in too bad of a spot but this may be a bad spot too bad so far this veteran guy may be a little scary but we're a warrior we stand and fight I 
not even close. We didn't even have to use our heal. But I am gonna look in this chest. My inventory's full. I gotta get to like a... Some place where I can get rid of these things. I can't use a drone it. Um, either that or I gotta start like tossing stuff out. Trophy, I don't care, it's two copper. That'll give me a couple of a couple of things that I can It still wants me to go talk to that dude down there. Let's um let's go do this event. sword at him. Or what other kind of like I've almost got weapon it. skills. I tried out the hammer. I didn't like it. The um the sword main hand wasn't bad. I'm not sure I like the sword off hand though. Okay, we're following. Okay, so we hit 10, we got personal story, and I can do weapon swapping. Next, I get more hero points. What is this? Oh, I didn't just upgrade. I had the full account. I bought it early. When it first came out. I just haven't played it. Apparently, I'm fighting over behind my skill. Like, more mounts, messages, blah, blah, blah. Okay. New mount acquired. Knock down any foe. Okay, but how do I actually... Okay, cool. So X is to how to summon it. I see that. Okay, what is this? I don't know what that does, but, um, it's way the heck over there. Divinity's Reach, okay, got it. I always remember Guild Wars 2 as the, like, okay, we need to climb this, uh, mountain. I always remember Guild Wars 2 as the game that was, like, first doing these huge dynamic things as, like, it was well known for... changing the world you know when they destroyed divinity's reach and yeah i knew all about that with that living the living world and stuff for a 12 year old game it looked pretty damn good still We're getting there. Okay, so personal story. 
this. Speak in Holbreth. Okay, where's Holbreth? Back over here. So the foothills take me from 1 to 15, and the personal story sends me around. So I think we're going to go do that because that sounds. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, sure. So that's a thing that happened. Oh boy. Starting off well. Um, is there a merchant guy here around here somewhere that I can sell some of this crap in my inventory to? Daily, Get another chest or whatever. Oh, what are you selling? Uh, well, I want to get rid of all of this junk. I can't use a torch. Don't need those. Don't need two of those. Maybe a spear. Mace, I don't, didn't care for. The hammer is hit or miss. I'll keep it around. He's selling bag space, but... So I can have a few of those? Eh, sure, why not? I may have bought one too many. Bought a couple too many. We'll keep the war horn. I don't need those these things by at all. Yes. Yes. I need some of these kits that you can break things down with. But I'm gonna put all this stuff in the bottom because no, I don't need it. do something bad and get rid of um, that. Now, where is... I remember when I played this that there were like kits that I could break stuff down with. I don't remember what they're called. Maybe I'll find one. If not, then we'll just destroy those things as I need inventory space. It's not like the materials are that big of a deal. Let's go get involved in a story. We've already been on going for 28 minutes. We'll uh, go a little bit longer here. Loading in. So Holbrook is like the, the Norn big town, right? Like the little small... Well, I say big, but it's like they're... It's like their citadel or, or whatever it is. There's all kinds of stuff to explore here. I need to run around and discover everything in this place. Oh, well, you already know I'm gonna go talk to a weaponsmith. Nothing that I need, though. Uh, merchant, we're gonna talk to him. Here we go, a salvage kit. That's what I wanted. Cool. And I can't even salvage those. Okay. Fantastic. So you know what happens to these? Dumped on the ground. It 
So I need a decent um, single hand sword so I can use the Warhorn as the offhand. Or I need a decent axe. Axe might be kind of cool. Yeah, I kind of like the axe. Uh, what does the war horn give? Where's it at? Shield? Um, here it is. Boons remove movement and pairing and remove conditions. Now nah, that's like a support thing. I want offense. Maybe I'll use a dual uh, dual axe build instead of um, a great sword. I always thought the great swords were cool, but I kind of like the the idea of the dual axes. I'm an idiot. Go ahead, tell me in the comments. It's stupid. I'm sitting here thinking, why am I walking so slow? Oh yeah, we can do. We can get on the mount, stupid. Okay, hold space. Okay. Um, sure. Do I know? What do we need? Power and ferocity, right? Or is it power and precision? I don't remember. Yeah, it's power and precision. This low level, it doesn't really matter anyway, right? We'll just do all power with some crit, and that's gonna give me... <laughs> Where's the crit? It makes the crit go up. Okay. Let me, um... Why did it... Okay, we're going down here. I guess this is where I need to go for the story. I, I misunderstood. Every week I try. Every day. I'm gonna let them talk. Bygarth the Smith. What would you have of this season's finest slayer? Oh, you're mighty confident for one so young. <laughs> Reminds me of me after I won the great hunt. Oh, but that was a long time ago. I chose smithing over hunting, and I never regretted it. Now it's time to forge my masterpiece, a mighty weapon to break Jormag's tooth. Nothing has so much as scratched the tooth in over a hundred years. What makes you think you could craft such a thing? Deldrum or steel. If I can get my hands on enough of it, I can make a weapon to shatter mountains. The secret of the alloy was lost with the dwarves, but I can smelt existing relics into the steel I need. Such artifacts have surfaced in a Jotun cave near Grollenfjord. Yeah, that's why I sent for you. If you can beat back the Jotun and collect the artifacts I need to forge the weapon, you might be worthy of bearing it. Interested? Interested? Ha! <laughs> I'm determined! Ready your forge for dwarven metal, Smithy. Okay, so we gotta go fight these Joven guys. <clears throat> sure. Let's do it. Let's 
get rolling. First, I'm going to go down here and get at least this one waypoint. I don't know where the other one's at. Probably way up there. What is that? Okay. Access to dismount. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. So these mounts are a little bit new to me because they didn't. I never had one when I played before. It's just how long ago I played. Hop, hop, hop. We're gonna go up these stairs. Get this uh, little waypoint up here while I'm here. It said to hold space. Weird. Still hurts if I fall. Okay. Makes sense. How do I get up on top of that thing? Pretty easy. I like the architecture. And the snow. I like the snow. Down we get lied. Okay, so that's gotten quite a few of the little waypoints around here, at least on this side. Um, obviously, there's a bunch more that I need to do up there, but I have to come back, I think, because the main story is going to take me all around here. So, you know what? We can cheat. I do have the money. We can cheat. Let's just port there instead of um, taking time to run. And we'll go do the, a little bit of the story and then we'll uh, call it a day. Yeah, that's good. So we gotta fight these guys. No, I would like to keep my arms attached. Thank you. I'll take on all three of you at once. I win. I need help. Oh, you need help, huh? I could be like dodge rolling and stuff, but I don't think these guys are really that big of a threat, so I'm just kind of not worried about it. I can take care of myself from here, but there are more prisoners inside. Well, how about you? Uh... And then I heard screams. Don't worry about me. Help them. Well, how about you help me? <laughs> Idiot. We will make another offering. A hunter who wanted too close. He is strong. His sacrifice will gain us power. Oh yeah. Chop chop chop. My strength increases. Hear us. Give us the strength to reclaim our birthright. 
Made me put you in the chopper. Spit on it. Okay, well, apparently I got what I needed, right? So, from what I can tell, the story is over. I don't even need to, like, walk back down this way. But I'm going to. And as I suspected, it takes me back over here. Alright, so I'm going to port back and then uh, we'll go do this little bit of story and then I'm going to end this off. I wanted to leave it off being in the whole brick place. Yeah. yeah. So we're almost level 11. That's pretty good. I'm leveling pretty quick. I get that uh, it doesn't really matter in Guild Wars what level is because of scaling, but it's okay. All right, I'm going to let them talk. I brought your dwarven steel, Blacksmith. I also saw the bodies of the other hunters you sent. Those Jotun are worshipping the Ice Dragon. Bear's breath. I didn't know that. I'll take the steel off your hands, but I can't do anything about the Jotun. Though I do know someone who can. Do you know Erste Gulkin? Tall, beautiful, travels with a huge black wolf. She killed one of the Ice Dragon's strongest lieutenants. Of course, she fought beside me against Isormir, and I've heard songs of her epic deeds at several moots. She could help us, and not to be a gossip or anything. I hear she's taken quite an interest in you since the Great Hunt. Well, rightfully so. Look at my Me? big, beautiful, bald head. Why? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Perhaps you impressed her. In any case, ask her about these Jotun, and I'm sure she'll lend a hand. Uh-huh. So we gotta go all the way back and ask her. So we're running an errand, basically. All right, so I'm going to leave it off here. Next time, I'm going to uh, maybe bring the map back up. I'll run around and kind of complete some of this stuff, and then we'll continue on with the story. Uh, I'm interested. So we, we fought a big icy worm, met a lady, and now we're helping this guy out. Uh, becoming famous. And we got a giant sword. That's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed a little shorter than last time, but uh, 45 minutes is about where I want to be at with uh, the Guild Wars 2 episodes. So Appreciate all the support. Again, if you're not subbed, sub up. Guild Wars 2 on Tuesdays, Black Desert on Fridays and Saturdays, and we've got some other stuff planned in the future. So, thanks for watching, as always. Until next time.